Hey guys, and welcome back to Vlogs and Frogs. My name is Ryan Peterson, for those of you who don't know, and today we're going to be talking about muscles. And no, not these muscles. Actually, these muscles. Yes, this is a muscle. Really weird, right? There's something living in there. And don't know what it is? Well, let's get into it. So these are freshwater mussels, and you may know them as a mollusk. Mollusks are soft-bodied invertebrates like snails, mussels, slugs, clams, oysters, and even an octopus. Now, mussels are soft-bodied critters enclosed in a shell that is connected with a hinge that opens and closes. They mainly live buried in gravel and sand or mud at the bottom of lakes, ponds, streams, and rivers. There are large populations in Kentucky rivers like the Green River, Ohio River, and Cumberland River. We find a ton at the parklands of Floyd's Fork here in Kentucky. Now, all mussels are filter feeders. They have one main muscle in their shells we call their foot. It is a thick, large, meaty piece right inside their shell. They use this foot to slowly reach out and bury in the sand or mud and pull themselves slowly across the bottom. They also use this foot to eat. Yeah, funny, right? They dig their foot into the sand or mud and suck in water and filter out all the nutrients and oxygen and then they just expel the waste back out. They mainly eat plankton and bacteria within the water. Now we find all of our freshwater mussels in Kentucky and there are about 300 species of mussels in North America alone and 103 of those are native to Kentucky. Now of those 100 here in Kentucky, a number of them have slowly disappeared entirely and even more have been added to the endangered or critically endangered list due to extreme levels of water pollution, habitat loss, and competition with other native species. But don't worry, Kentucky has a wildlife action plan and about 46 species of mussels are listed under greatest conservation need. They just need a little help protecting them. They are a great indicator species. This is a species that scientists use to measure the health state of an environment. A lake with tons of mussels may be much cleaner and more productive than one with none or few because they are sensitive to toxic chemicals. So, if it's toxic, it will kill off the mussels. They filter the water so much that they help improve the water quality of the entire body itself. So, if there are a million, then there are a million little filters going on in that lake or river or stream or whatever. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Mussels are dope and not just to the nature world, for people world too. The shells are used for art and jewelry, and of course, pearls. Now, although all mollusks, including oysters, mussels, and clams, can all technically make pearls, there is a lot of specific steps needed to take place that don't occur as commonly naturally. But, some saltwater mussel species are largely used by people for commercial pearl growing. This is where instead of a farm of green beans and tomatoes, they are farms of mussels that people control the environment and the process to help them grow pearls within the mussels. Want to know how that works in depth? Tell us and we'll get a video going on it, guys. Anyways, I'm going back to snorkeling now, so I love you all and stay muscly. <laughs>